Hi, this is our uh, fourth year of uh, bleaching our, uh, our 316 uh, sugar lines. And we've learned a thing or two in the past few years, and we want to pass this on to you. Uh, the first thing is when we're handling the material, if you notice in the pictures, we were all dressed up in goggles and stuff. And we find that this stuff isn't particularly hard to deal with, so we don't do that anymore. Now, you wouldn't want to get this in your eye. You wouldn't want to drink it. Uh, but it's not something you have to worry too much about. So you can decide or not to, to use the material or not. Uh, we just simply mix it up. The first uh, time we used it, we were actually pre-mixing it. Don't do that. They advise you against it on the package. And uh, you just mix it up. We mix uh, one pound for 200 gallons of water. And that gives you a 400 parts per million chlorine solution, which is plenty adequate for doing this. The second thing we've done is uh, on our pump, we've added, look at it from here, we've added a uh, pressure switch. And this pressure switch uh, will stop at about uh, 95 uh, PSI, which is plenty enough to, that this will protect the pump. And I, I, I'm not worried too much about it. Now, when it hits uh, top pressure, it starts to click. And then I adjust the, uh, this valve, I adjust it a little bit and allow some of the excess water to flow back into the uh, mixing tank. We're uh, watching the pressure gauge. Uh, but it just makes things a little easier and a little less stressful. And we're also able to operate the pump uh, pretty much at its maximum. The other thing we've done is we've discovered something called a steering cap. And this is uh, a, uh, an item from Quebec, like many of our other items in sugaring. And it, uh, it's a cap that coats the entire sp uh, contact parts of the spout has bleach all around the outside and inside of the spout where it counts, not on the end of course, but right here on the tip. This thoroughly bleaches the spout and uh, we found that this works very well and makes these spouts completely reusable uh, and it's very easy. Our technique is to uh, first rinse the main lines with uh, fresh water we have a valve at the top of all the main lines. Close the valve off, pump bleach up. By the, uh, before we pump bleach up, we release the top spout on all the uh, 3 16 lines so that sap will, uh, not sap, but uh, the solution will flow through, push out all the junk, and uh, uh, keep bleach in there. We, we just leave the bleach in all summer. At the end of the summer, we we'll remove the steering caps. This will keep those uh, little wasps that like to uh, lay their muddy eggs inside your spouts out. And uh, at the end of the summer, everything drains. We don't bother draining, uh, we don't bother rinsing these anymore. Uh, draining's enough, and then we just run a little sap on the ground. We do rinse the main lines at the end of the summer. Uh, Bleach will only last about a week in these lines that the sun breaks it down. Uh, but in the main lines, it'll persist all summer. So you really need to rinse those out. Uh, and that's it. Those are the changes we've made. On the next little slide, you'll see us actually pulling the uh, steering caps up in the woods and having uh, the bleach solution pour through. All right, this is the stuff we use. It's calcium uh, hypochlorite, brand name Zapit. It's used for swimming pools. It's also the same formalization as endochlor, which is used in the dairy industry and other industries uh, as a food item. Uh, works well, comes in one pound packages, one pound for 200 gallons of water, simple enough. You can cut it down if you, by weight if you need less. 
Uh, the other thing we're doing, and I'm not sure I explained this well, we uh, we detap. We do this. We haven't detapped yet. We detap as we put the stereo caps on, so we don't have another time in the woods. So we wait. It's now May, so we wait into May before we do our detapping. But we do this as, as one operation. We have one person down here at the pump. Uh, we have uh, contact via walkie-talkie to the people in the woods. And we today we have a crew of three up in the woods, and that works really well. We'll go very fast. We'll go through the lines. We go up, up one, down one, and uh, pull a spout. Let stuff run through, put the, put the steer cap on, and let it dangle. Well, the last few shots uh, are detapping, putting on the uh, steering caps. You also saw us using hydron paper to indicate whether or not we had bleach. Uh, when it turns black, you have bleach. Uh, there's one more thing I want to talk about. <coughs> um, we've changed the hose going from the pump to the uh, main lines. We now use a three-quarter inch hose. This uh, helps. Uh, we don't have so much pressure loss there and we have more pressure up in the woods.